All right, it's me again. It is 12 5 21 and I am out at Sky Lake Boardwalk near Belzona, Mississippi. I'm gonna turn the camera around because I got something uh, pretty strange to tell you. All right, just to let you see where I'm at here. Okay, this morning I got up about three o'clock and I decided to get on down here in the pre-dawn hours. I've got brand new night vision. I decided I wanted to run the night vision and see how it worked out. So I struck out probably about 345 and on the way, the fog was so thick I barely could see the end of the hood of my vehicle. So I, I knew it was gonna be a, a very foggy morning and it was. So I made it out here. I think I got here, well, it took me about 45 minutes later. It was before, it was well before five o'clock in the morning. So I got here and I ate a little bite and drank some coffee and I stepped out of the vehicle and started running night vision. Now the night vision with it being so foggy, uh, the higher I would go with the, uh, the infrared, you know, the worse the picture was. It, it's kind of like you're driving down the highway and you got your lights on low beam and you can see fairly well, but then you pop them on high beam and it's just a washout. So it was very much the same thing with the, the night vision. So I would put it down as low as I could and I could get a little bit, you know, done with it. Not a whole bunch. So anyway, I, I ran night vision for, you know, on and off for about an hour. Well, right before the sun come up, let me back up and say this too. When I first got here before five o'clock, as I was, you know, coming in on the road up here, um, this place felt strange. It, it felt odd. Now, what I tell you at the end of this video is going to be the exact opposite of that for a certain area. But here, you know, right here in the parking lot, coming down the road, um, here, it felt, it felt weird. It felt odd. So anyway, going back to what I was saying, and I'm going to leave the camera aimed out toward the field. I was sitting here and I was really running the night vision over this field because there has been a report of chupacabras being seen, the canine chupacabra being seen over there uh, near that tree line going across this field. And we know that there's chupacabra activity out here because of uh, the work that MK Davis has done uh, the things that I have found out, which I will have a bombshell report about that in the coming days and weeks ahead. But anyway, at one point I'd been in the vehicle and I was sitting in here. I was parked, you know, right here. And I decided to get out, stretch my legs and see if I needed to run the night vision. It's still dark. It's a, just an ooch more light, but it's still very, very dark. And... The fog is finally starting to let up. I step out and no sooner do I step out, and this is what's odd. Back over here, way back, there was something howling. It was a howl that I've never heard in all my time coming out here. I've been out here a ton. I've been out here just, just boo coos And I have never heard this noise. Uh, I've heard strange noises out here before. Um, the weird horn type sounds that, that MK Davis encountered first and then when I come out with him, encountered with him. Uh, I've heard wood knocks. I mean, I've heard things that, uh, that sounded like owls, but you just know that's not a, a normal owl sound. I've heard all kinds of things. This sound, I've never heard before. And again, it was way back that way. And 
it did not sound canine. It did not sound like farm animals, you know, such as cows, chickens, roosters. It didn't sound like livestock. Uh, it was just a sound, this howl that, that you know, I've, I can't say that I've ever heard before. It didn't sound like coyotes. It, it was this one singular kind of, for a while it was fairly, you know, steady. It was fairly regular. And I put a video up at MBEST a little while ago where I kind of imitated it. And I'll do it here. Um, it, it's not gonna do it justice but it, it will kind of put you in the ballpark. And I tried to record it with my Tascam recorder. I don't know if I was successful or not. I'll review the audio once I get home. But the sound was this kind of woo, woo. It was, I'm probably putting a little bit more melody to it. Um, I'm a musician, so it's just kind of natural for me to do that. But it was very much along that line. And it, and it did it for a good while. I, I feel bad that I was sitting in the vehicle taking a break, drinking coffee, when evidently this thing started up. So um, there's no telling. It wasn't doing it when I got in the vehicle to take my break. It was not doing it up to that point. And again, I'd been out here for a, a good while. Um, it was still dark. It, uh, I don't know. I, I just, I really don't know. I, I mean, it's, it's, it, it, it's, it's something else. I, I'll, I'll just say it like that. It, it, you know, it didn't scare me. It didn't frighten me, but it was very odd. It was very strange. And it just didn't seem right. It didn't seem, it didn't seem typical. And of course there's hunting and all going on. You can hear gunshots and stuff popping all, all around me. So, I mean, it's deer season and everybody's, you know, everybody's hunting in the woods. Of course, there's a cemetery. It's kind of a peaceful, but you know, a little creepy at the same time. Um, so, you know, I never did see anything with the night vision. I'll put that on record now. I did not catch anything with night vision. Uh, it would have been hard. Now, the night vision binoculars worked extremely well, uh, especially once the cloud, I mean, the, the fog, you know, started really dissipating and dropping out, uh, and I got just a little bit more light. The, the night vision was, those binoculars were awesome. But I did not get anything with that. Like I say, I don't know if I caught the howl with my Tascam digital recorder or not. Hopefully I did. I got a bad feeling I was fumble fingered and I, 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 didn't, I didn't catch it. But now I'll say this and head toward the conclusion here. All right. Again, I'm in the parking lot across from Sky Lake. The, the weirdness felt here. It felt, you know, here in the parking lot. It felt on this side of, of Sky Lake. Again, the sounds were coming back over that way. You know, I go into, once the gate opened up and I could drive in over there, um, I got out, I went down the kayak ramp to see if I could see any, any tracks or footprints. Uh, that area been tore up by some type of vehicle, so I didn't get nothing there. Uh, not, not in the way of footprints or could tell anything like that. So, I hit the boardwalk. Now, here's what seems to happen darn near every time I get on that boardwalk. When I get to the halfway point, especially if I'm like the first one out here, there's nobody out here uh, visiting, I hit that boardwalk, I get to about the halfway point, the wood knocks start. I start getting wood knocks and I start hearing things that are not woodpeckers, it's not leaf, uh, leaf litter, it's not you know limbs falling and hitting the, the boardwalk or the water or the trees, it's wood knocks. I hit the, uh, uh, the boardwalk, I started 
recording the minute I hit the, uh, the boardwalk with my digital camera here. About halfway, I fired up the Tascam. Nothing. No wood knocks. Now, I did, let me back up. I did hear one wood knock when I first got here. It seemed to be back over that way. It was, let me rephrase it. It was a possible wood knock. So, this morning, and it's, again, 12-5-2021, Deer season is, is rip-roaring. I got on the boardwalk, got all the way down to the end, nothing. No, uh, no wood knocks, no nothing. Now, I could hear gunshots and gun blasts going off um, back up in the woods and, you know, way back out across Sky Lake. But, uh, you know, again, no... No wood knocks, no, nothing that would indicate cryptid activity. So that's my day. That's, uh, that's what it's been out here at Sky Lake. So again, right over here in this parking lot, back that way, some type of weird howls. And, and it was, it seemed to be one animal whatever that was that was making that sound it, it was only one so i'm gonna go ahead and pack up like i say i, I woke up at three o'clock this morning got here before five well before five and uh i say it's been a long morning so until the next video, which, who knows, probably won't be too long coming at you. This is Marcus signing out from Sky Lake. Y'all be safe and be careful out there, and I'll catch you later.